everyone, today is another free to play versus pay to play video, this time focusing on the guild power event. I had a lot of really nice feedback on the free to play versus pay to play video for the Ozil event. Also some nice comments about my recent resource management videos. So I thought I'd try to combine the two for this one and see how it goes. So definitely leave a comment below um, while you're watching just to let me know how you're finding it. Any feedback is really appreciated. So um, I know that I've done some of these kind of event breakdowns uh, and posted them on Discord in the past, but this is my first time doing it in video form. So really any feedback would be appreciated. Um, whether it's a like or a comment or something like that. So, let's get started. So, uh, if you've never seen one of my spreadsheets before, um, the way that I set it up is usually I always have a target value, um, which you will see right here. And that is the number of points that I'm hoping to get. Then I have a task breakdown. So I write down all the tasks that will give me points. I write down the number of points that I get for completing each task once. I write down how many times I want to complete each task and I multiply them together to get the number of points that I will get from each task item. And when I add up all of the line items, I will get my total number of points and I will compare this against the target. And if the total points is less than the target value, then I can adjust the number of times I'm completing each task so that my number of points is equal to or slightly greater than the target value. And at the bottom for this particular video, I've added something new which is a cost versus reward breakdown. So the cost is the energy coins and gems that you will need to spend um, to use the strategy and the rewards will be the number of coins that you get back. And then I do a balance at the end to see if you are in the negative or the positive overall. And on the right hand side, it's exactly the same thing just for the pay to play scenario. So uh, let's go over some of the assumptions for the free-to-play player. So the target is um, 70,000 points per guild. It is a guild event. Uh, and if we have 30 people in the guild, then that would work out to be 2,334 points per person. Now, I'm assuming that this free-to-play doesn't have prime at all. But... Um, even without Prime, what I'm seeing is they should be able to regenerate a fair amount of energy each day. So that's, uh, let's say, 120 overnight and 120 in the daily reward. If they watch ads, they will, I think, be able to get to 300 and energy a day easily. And with that 300 and energy a day, if we are say hard working we can do 350 battles for the event now there is a caveat the caveat is um, you need to do those 350 battles within eight days and so this is reflected in the gems that i'm spending 840 gems to buy a seven day xp boost i'm spending this once um, and I'm also going to be banking on getting a one day XP boost from the weekly reward once. And that gives me eight days of XP boost. I'm going to be doing my 350 battles in uh, eight days, which means, oh, you can see the bottom of my uh, thingy. Um, that means 44 battles a day. So I think that is quite reasonable you can basically do three times of 15 autos um, and get that done and you will get around 50 percent of your points for um, the 2334 point target just from this xp and this is not going to cost you anything apart from the pain of watching all those ads but you will get around um four million coins back so i think it's 
is not too terrible. Um, and then you're going to get around, yes, 40% of your points from a six star ascension using five five star cauldrons. I think that's quite reasonable um, because a guild event is one of the best times to use up any stashes of resources that you might have. And then you can make up the rest of the points doing five star ascensions um, partially with full four star cauldrons. That's just one example of one way we could do it. So a different way we could do it would be, for example, if we wanted to do more in terms of battle. So then we can uh, maybe adjust this to 400 battles. Then some Excel magic behind the scenes. That would be 1,285 points. And let's take away some of these uh, other things to see how far we are. So I am at 2285 and I am looking for 2334. So if I would use 21 dummies, I need to spend 2,400, sorry, 245,000 coins. So this I need to uh, add. Um, and then, so yeah, this is what I would get. Um, this, oh, sorry. I think that's gonna mess up my uh, my energy a little bit um, okay let's do it here yeah so I'm gonna get two three three four ignore this I'm gonna this is my spreadsheet is not set up to do dummies or on this side um, so I'm gonna complete my event and I'm going to be spending a bit more energy. Um, I'm going to be spending a bit less coins because I'm not doing the five star ascensions. Um, I'm gonna be getting more coins in return for doing more battles. So this actually puts me um, even more in the green. It's just going to be a little bit more painful in terms of the ad watching. Uh, or if you have some kind of energy saved up in the inbox, maybe that's also a good way to do it. Um, you could, of course, kind of sp spread out the event over more time. For example, if you could get the XP boost twice, that's also possible. Let's say you get it twice. Um, then you have yourself covered for the entire uh, 14 days. And in fact, this is maybe how a newer player could do it. So... Let's go back to uh, all zeros, how a new player might do this. And I'm not sure a new player might actually finish this event, by the way, but we can try. So let's remove some of these things. Um, so let's start with two times um, seven days XP boost. Let's say this person is going to get 400 energy a day. Um, so that is going to be 400 battles over the course of 14 days. That's going to be 29 battles a day. I think that's very reasonable. Um, this is going to be at Hell Tenebris 3, so ah, I do have written down what is going to be happening for Nightmare Tenebris, Tenebris 3, so just give me a second. Um, let's see. Uh, 
400 energy at 14 days and um so that is going to be 5600 um energy divided by 6 energy per battle um and then given the amount of xp we get that is going to give us 2005 uh 2054 points so this is actually a quite a big uh, contribution um as long as you have enough uh, heroes to level for all of this and let's say this is actually quite a lot maybe you could do um one five star ascension with it um i don't know if they have the opportunity to have any cauldrons at that time but you can see that they actually can make a really significant effort um, or really significant contribution with just the um, the XP gain from the battles. So that's maybe, um, I think 2000 is realistic for, let's say, a hardworking new player who is maybe able to get some heroes from either the market or campaign drops or uh, things like that. Maybe from the daily scroll, even you could um, get some of the uncommon or common heroes. Doesn't really matter what you level up, you just want to be gaining XP. So let's set this back to where it was and move on to the pay to play. And I th think this is what it was. Um, yeah. Okay, so for the pay to play player, what did I assume? I assume this person has zero patience to do any uh, campaign battles at all. Um, and I thought maybe they have hoarded some cauldrons um in which case life might be quite easy so i've said this person is willing to uh, use fi 10 five star cauldrons for t two six star ascensions and they're going to be um, doing three five star ascensions two of them are fully with four star cauldrons and one of them is going to be with feeders that's going to get them 2350 points which is above the target so we're good what we want to notice here is we're only spending coins so we're not playing um, campaigns so we're not going to be um, getting any rewards back and uh, this number should be positive um, uh, it's because um, I need to clear this. Okay, this is... That's better. So, um, this person is going to be spending coins based on their ascensions. And uh, overall, you're going to be spending not a huge amount of coins, around 150,000 coins. So, this is one way to do it. Of course, if you play around with the numbers, you can get different results. So if you would do more of the six star ascensions, um, if you did three fully with uh, five star cauldrons, you would be done in a flash and you would be getting around 3000 points. So that's one. Or sometimes what I see players have problems with is maybe um, hero roster management or space management. So let's say they really need to get rid of um, some heroes, so maybe they ascend four and they're only using, let's say, five five star cauldrons. This is also going to get them um, 2,500 points. Or 
another way to do it, maybe something interesting, is if we build the numbers up bit by bit, maybe we um, ascend one hero with cauldrons, and then we have the idea to use XP dummies because we see that XP um, gain is something that can give us points. So if we would use, say, um, 50 dummies, what is going to happen? So 50 dummies is going to be um, 600,000 coin. And that is going to be um, I believe that is 120 points. So yeah, that's now uh, counted for. So actually that is going to um, give us only around half of the points for the event. You can see this is basically the same number of points that the free-to-play player is going to be doing with, sorry, this is back to 350 battles. Um, but instead of gaining around 4 million coins, they're going to be down um, over 600k, right? So if you go even heavier on the dummies, let's say, um, let's say if we want to double the points from the dummies, right? So we use 100 dummies. That is going to be over a million coins. And I need to update here um, but it's not such a big increase in the number of points actually right you've only increased by 120 points but you've increased your spending by um, 600,000 coins so let's say we make it even more extreme then you're spending 200 dummies. Um, and it gives you only a little bit more points, but you're now down almost two and a half million coins. So that's why XP dummies are not a cost efficient way in terms of coins, not a cost efficient way of doing this event. So let's say we're, we're back to 50 here. Um, sorry, 120 points, 50 dummies. So what we could do is maybe another six star ascension. Um, and that gets us points much faster. Maybe we want to do a one five star ascension. Um, see if we can do that without cauldrons. Um, still not yet maybe we do one with cauldrons and let's say if we're only able to do one of each ascension with cauldrons well we what do we need to do so let's say we do five five star ascensions um four of them without cauldrons still quite a long way from this so you can see how it's easy to make it hard for yourself by not using cauldrons and not doing the xp gain um, from the battles. So let's say we are going to up this to um, three six star ascensions. Now we're above the target. So we can reduce this a little bit. So maybe we go to down to four. Oh, we can go down quite a lot. So let's go down to two um, five star ascensions. You could do three five-star ascensions, um, one with cauldrons, two without cauldrons, or you could do two and then maybe add a little bit more on the dummies or do a couple of battles. Either way, this is very close to the target number. So you can see that this is going to cost you around 760 coins. 
maybe a little bit more, maybe a bit, bit less, depending on how you get the rest of your points. Um, but that's another kind of way that you could do the event. And of course, maybe this player wants to contribute more than um, their 2,334. Let's say this person is going to aim for 4,000. This is quite ambitious. Um, so I always start when I plan the event completion with the biggest items. So for here, we see that this is going to be the um, six-star ascension. We look at the points per unit. Um, and then when I look at resources, I personally think, how many resources am I willing to expend for this event? And I'm willing to expend, let's say, um, 10 cauldrons, which means actually two six-star ascensions. That going, that's going to give me 2,000 points. I'm halfway there. But this was the biggest, uh, these were the biggest items. These were the easiest ways to get points. So from here, it's kind of a uphill struggle. I have to think carefully about what I'm going to do, whether I'm actually willing to do more of the big ticket items to get me closer to the target more quickly. So let's say I'm prepared to do two extra ascensions without cauldrons. So that gives me um, 3,000 points. Um, I'm looking for 4,000, so 1,000 more. So um, let's see. So I could do, let's say I'm going to do um, all of them in campaign. So this is what you're going to see. So you're going to see um, I think I have to uh, decouple that calculation, but you would see um, 1,125 here, and you can see that that's obviously going to go over um, 4,000, so that's one way of getting it done. That's going to be free energy, and I'm going to get around 4 million coins back. I could also try to do that same number of points using uh, dummies, and I need to write this down here. And that's going to be uh, a whopping 469 dummies, so probably not. And that is going to set me back um, over 5.7 million coins. So not a very good idea, maybe. But if I really want to finish this quick, let's say I don't want to be doing campaign at all. Maybe I don't want to be buying XP boost because I don't have gems or because I would rather be spending my energy on rifts, say. So then I need to do some more five-star ascensions. Let's do, let's do five, right? So then now I'm still looking for 750 points. So this is actually a lot of work, five five-star ascensions. So let's say I do all of them with um, four star cauldrons. I know that's not possible for everyone. So that's 300, uh, 3,750. I'm still looking for 250 points. And then maybe I think, okay, 250 is something that I could stomach with my dummies. That is going to set me back around um, just over 1 million coins just for the dummy part. Um, and in total, it's going to be sent me back around uh, one and a half million gold coins. So I might think, okay, um, for some damage to my cauldron hoard and uh, 1.5 million coins, I can do roughly double, well, less than double of the um, total guild requirement divided by 30. So the average individual um, contribution, maybe that's okay. So, um, yeah, again, if you want to know how I set up this uh, spreadsheet, then it is the tasks, the number of points you get from completing each one. This is from the event card in the game. You write down how many times you want to do each event. You have this column here, which is going to multiply this number here, with this number here. 
you add them all up, compare them against the target. So um, I think we can leave it here. Um, let me know what you thought. This is my first time doing some kind of detailed mathematical breakdown. So I'm really interested to hear your feedback. Um, I hope this was interesting and maybe gave you some insight into what you would like to do and what you would not like to do. For me, at least it's eye-opening that the XP dummies would actually cause me to spend so much gold coin. Um, and also that it's so easy to get like a large number of points just from doing um, battles. Also makes me realize that this is not such a bad event for new players after all. Just because you don't have cauldrons doesn't mean that you can't make a difference to your guild. So that really makes me appreciate the event design a little bit more. So very positive from my side. Interested to know what you think. And if you like this kind of free-to-play versus play-to-play, -play, then let me know as well. I actually really enjoy the format. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've noticed a lot of new faces watching my videos, so it would be really nice uh, if you could subscribe. I do try to get content out a little bit more regularly this time, so that would help you not miss anything. And once again, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!